Hello, and welcome to iRacing in VR. Today, an endurance race at Monza. This is the Le Mans series. It's an hour long, and I'm racing the sort of LMP2 style Honda performance development vehicle. How will I get on in this multi-class race? Let's get to the grid and find out. So we're going to be going green on the Parabolica. These guys really should have pushed up a bit closer to the LMP1s, but never mind. Green, green, green. Off we go. Floor, floor, floor. There's only four of us in these HPD cars. And these HPD cars are fantastic. Why didn't I race these sooner? Why did I persist with the GT3? Anyway, off we go. Coming down to the first corner. We need to be braking about sort of now-ish. Oh, oh, he's right. slammed his brakes on. Right. Ah, ah. Right side. Evasive right. action. Right side. Rejoin right. the track You're safely. Right side. And I've right. got to wait. 1.5 seconds left. Oh, man. That was unreal. Had to brake hard because of the blooming car in front braking hard. I've got to take evasive action. Now I've lost time already. And goodness me, these car, I mean, this car is running much heavier weight than it was in qualifying. Obviously, but God, these cars feel... Heavy brakes, brakes, brakes. I've done it again. God, this oh another eight point eight. So this is a great start. Right off we go. Anyway, this car. Listen to the GT threes. Absolutely sounding off behind me. They are not having a good start. Um, and that's one of the reasons I didn't want to do GT three for this race. That's better. Um, is because there's just so many collisions in the GT3 the part of this. That's okay. We're okay. It's all fine. It's fine. Um, I was hoping to live stream this, but I had real microphone problems, so I sorted that out by ordering a new microphone. But recording the mic as I'm driving is fine. It's, it's, it's fine for some reason. I don't know. Anyway. Um, this is an hour-long race, an hour-long race, um, anything can happen, there's only four of us, there's eight LMP1s, there's four of us and there's about ten GT3s. Uh, I've qualified fourth out of our, our four, um, and that was surprising because I was running test laps earlier, I was getting 1.40.9. That would have got me second on the grid here. Oh, blocking up a bit, coming down. Okay, let's get into a groove. So, unfortunately, I couldn't do in qualifying what I'd, I'd done literally five minutes before. Um, again, maybe the car just had a bit more fuel in it, harder to, to get around. But um, these are fantastic cars. They're very much like the Radicals. These are Honda Performance. Um, department cars they're like an LMP2 and um, it, I say they're so much like the Radical look you've got the, the wheel covers you can see through at the front they're very very s stable they're a little bit more slidey than the a uh, little bit more oversteer than the Radicals but these are much faster than the Radicals so the, these are fantastic bridge car between the GT3 and the LMP1s and I think when I do my next Le Mans race, I can't remember where it's going to be, um, I'm definitely going to stick to these because there doesn't seem to be that many people racing them. Everybody tends to plump for the, the super sexy Rockstar LMP1s or the uh, go with the herd GT3s. And nobody really seems to go with these. I don't know why. They're really, really good. Anyway, um, yes, an hour long. And the beauty, the, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this was because I didn't want to be right at the back having to look out for LMP cars, LMP1s whizzing past me every five seconds. This actually isn't that much slower than an LMP car, but it is a light year ahead of a GT3. So I'm not going to be spending the time looking in my mirrors or behind me. I can actually spend my whole race looking forwards. Um, and it is an hour long, so anything can happen. Crashes, um, retirements. Uh, there's going to have to be a fuel stop at some point. I can't work out the fuel in this, it's given it in weight, um, like when you refuel an aircraft. So I was having a bit of trouble with the sums. When I come in a bit later, hopefully 
I'll have my maths head back on. But um, Monza's a nice track to do. It's not very difficult. It's just a few little chicanes. We're coming up to that's the second chicane. We're coming up to the Lesmos now, which are two more or less third gear corners. I'm going to drop this back down to third, carry the speed, accelerate up, bring it to fourth, and then drop it down again to third to carry the speed. There we go. Right, it feels a lot more stable now. I've got the, used to the weight of this car. Um, so off we go, okay, and, and the top the top speed the is, the gap is much better. 5.8, okay. So it was 6.8 a second ago. I've already gained a second. Um, I feel confident that I can catch up to the pack in front. And uh, you never know what's going to happen in this. How can you bin it in Curva Grande? It's, it's apart from being a curve, it's more or less straight. Unless they've uh, had a touch or something. Into Parabolica. Parabolica is a really tough corner to get right. It's a very long right-hander, and um, it's quite tight at the beginning. That opens up. You've got to get the angle right at the start, otherwise you're not going to get the speed all the way through. Was that? Hardest corner is this one, the That's first chicane, but really at about 100 metres or 100 yards. Knock it down, there's my boy, knock it down, and come, th knock it down to second as you enter, and as soon as you enter, immediately knock it into first to give you the drive out, but driving out in these cars it does give you a bit of rear end wobble, so um, it can be a little bit flighty on the exit, but Apart from that, it's all stable. And here, on the board, knock it down four into two. And something I discovered after about 20 laps of testing, I must be just the, big, the slowest guy on the uptake ever. Um, You're gaining on this guy. The gap's now 1.7 seconds. These uh, tracks, sometimes they'll have sausages on the inside kerb. Sometimes they'll have sort of, well, blocks on the inside kerb. And the sausages, you look at the centre of the sausage, the way it's put on, it shows you exactly the angle you should be attacking. We found this out at um, Circuit of the Americas. Okay, you can get past uh, him. Knock it down to third. And then you've got these blocks here. And the idea is really, to, and these ones here on the right, is to take them absolutely square. If you can get the car absolutely square, so they're going to be at right angles or perpendicular to your vehicle, that is the best angle to attack that corner. Um, so we've got a couple of corners with sausages and a couple of corners with those sort of blobs. So that was Nathan who just along past and Nathan is overlapped down. He's had to hit already. Obviously some first lap problems with the GT3s. So as we come up to this corner, you'll see that there's a very thick orange stripe on the inside of the curb. And you're supposed to again hit that square. So him's there and there's the other one there. So those two sausages, hit them square and you get the right angle. The next two, again we've got a couple of painted areas. And again if you hit those at the right angle, everything is rosy. But the gap in front has increased, it's now about 6.3 seconds. So knock it down to second, here comes the first one, there's the, there is bump. And there's the second one, bump, perfect, absolutely perfect. So that's what you've got to be aiming for. And then the next ones we've got are in Ascari. Well, they've got the blobs instead of the um, instead of the painted bit or the sausage. So people obviously just cutting Ascari out as much as they can. But if you hit the, the three blobs perpendicular, that's the fastest way through. And I don't know why I haven't realised it on Monza up to now. So we get to the braking mark, which is about here, down to three. There's the three, hit them, there we go, and these three hit them square, accelerating out, lovely. So now we're starting to get a bit of a move on. I'm one of the blue, light blue cars, the red cars are the GT3s, and the yellow cars are the LMP1s, so you have to just look out to see what colour the number is um, that you're either coming up on or you've got coming up on you. I mean, in this car, really, if the car is coming up on you and it's closing, then that is definitely going to be an LMP1. Oh, Matt. Come on, mate. Don't spend all day bringing up That's the okay. Sector no one worries. Is Off the pace. There we go. Over the middle bit, there's the orange painted bit. There's the orange sausage. 
So the idea is to finish higher than I qualified. I qualified in 12th, or if you want to look into our subclass, 4th. Um, so let's just see how we get on. And Monza's a really nice track. I can easily drive this for an hour. This car could drive all day. It's really good. There's one. There's the other one. Get up to fourth and quickly drop it into third. The gap ahead is now 6.4 seconds. Okay, so in front we've got another Matthew that is French. Matthew. Matthew. Uh, he's stabilised his lap time, so he's now staying uh, at a constant distance. But again, this is an hour-long race. We're only about five or six laps in. We're probably going to get over 30 laps out of this easily over 30 laps and I again I need to do my sums on my uh, fuel because ideally I want to go into the pits up just over half and that should be fairly straightforward then to put the, uh, the fuel weight on board I can just knock it down in the pits and I think if I can just get away with one stop I will change the tyres as well it's going to take longer in terms of time but ultimately it will be better in the long run because these cars are very thirsty and they, this track does eat a lot of tyres. Okay, so we've got a pink car up ahead. I'm in the top the 10. To one is Hooray! Off the in the top sector 10. Sector 2 is 1.3 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.7 off the pace. That's right, we've got a long way to go. Anything can happen. So we've got a pink one coming up shortly. That is Wayne Drury. He's a good distance ahead at the moment, 19 seconds. Might not get him this lap, might get him the next lap. Front just increased to 6.7 seconds. Here we go, round the corner. Obviously there's a lot of problems with the GT3s in the first lap. We've already got drivers. We're about to be lapped, so they've had to go into the pits. I really must look up where this, this series is going next. There's only about mm, two weeks left, I think, to the end of the season. To my surprise, I'm actually leading one of my classes, the Roof Porsche 911s. I'm a little bit wide. I'm leading my division in the, in the Porsche, the Roof Porsche 911s, and I'm really happy about that. I mean, obviously, it's, it's the lowest division in the world, but uh, someone's got to win it. So um, hopefully, I can hang on to that. One forty-three five zero. Sector one is one point two off the pace. Sector two is a second off the pace. Sector three is one point one off That's the right. pace. The gap in front is now six point eight. So yeah, hopefully I can I can stay in the lead and win that division. That'd be a small victory, but I'll take anything. Early days for me and I racing. Being caught by the faster class cars. Okay, they're coming up from behind. A blue flag. It's right up this um, just off a bit let him come past there we go that's the way to do it in the um, yellow flag caution incident oh, in let's lost it there he is that's a problem let me just get oh 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 he's gone there oh no oh thanks Oh, on, that was way dreary. Oh, God. Join the track responsibly. Oh, he's disconnected. And he's disconnected. What a... Oh, that is really in. annoying. Quickly disconnects. At least, at least apologise or broadcast or put a message up or something. That was... Oh, so now my car's been hit in the rear left quarter. So that's probably going to have some effect. We'll see. But, oh, that is annoying. So that's a 4X from somebody losing it and spinning into me. And they're a slower car, so they're basically just like a concrete barrier in the middle of the road. 
Oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, whoa. Right, the back end's going well out there, so there is definitely some problem now with the back of my tyres, either from getting hit or from having to go in all that gravel. Oh, just unbelievable that is. And now I've lost, obviously, time on the guy in front. Okay, keep the line. He's been sensible. Off we go. He can come past. Come on, buddy. There he goes. How annoying. Less than 10 laps in, and I've had two slowdown penalties because of braking issues, and then getting hit by a, it was a, a Ford GT. They're usually very stable on this track, so Wayne Drury really needs to check himself over because that was just. Oh. Yeah, there's definitely something. The back of this car feels a lot lighter. Probably hear the tyres sliding a lot more. I mean, there's, there's no real damage as such, as far as you know, my wheels pointing in the wrong direction. But I think the combination of getting hit and having to spend a lot of time in the gravel was really done something to my tyres. Oh, oh God, twitchy, twitchy, shouldn't be twitching through there, and there, crikey, oh shove it, this is ridiculous, so now the car has gone to a complete oversteer flighty mess, I'm going to have to think about doing a quick pit stop, so I come in now, I'll leave it out of lap. Now we're coming, stuff it. Oh, I'm coming in way too early. Looks like P2's gone oh. off in. Lesmo 1, watch your speed. Engage limiter. limiter. Okay, limiter's on, let's get there. Let's sort my... Um, oh, that sort of thing out. I'll try and find my bloke. There's my bloke. Do you know what? We, we won't change the tyres just yet. They, they, We'll see if it actually is the tyres. If not, when I when I stop later. Okay, there wasn't really any optional repairs there, so the car physically seems okay according to the the, the thing. But it takes, clear. perhaps it is the tyres. Well, we're about to find out. We've got more fuel on board. I don't think it's going to be enough to last us to the end because we haven't even got anything close to half race distance. So, but maybe a bit of a heavier car will help to negate the degradation on the tyres, anyway. If we can put in some consistent laps, then in the next, oh I know, five, six laps, the guys in front are going to have to pit in my class, and I might be able to catch them back up, especially if they're going to put tyres on as well, but I might, oh god, it's still a bit flighty. I might have to stop again near the end of the race just to drop a bit more fuel in. This is this is really what makes it so good. It's, you know, your pit stop strategy at the start of the race, you're very lucky if it turns out to be the pit stop strategy you use because of getting hit by drivers, going off track, um, that sort of stuff. Yeah, there's still too much slidey. I think I should have changed my tyres there. But I'm not going to come in again. Let's let's give it until about lap 20 or thereabouts. Two stop, roughly a third of the race in each. I'm sure we can make these tyres last another 10 laps. And there's a lot of slide coming around Parabolica. But that's okay, not a problem. Off we go again. P3. P3. So... Really? P3? It's one of the... Uh, it's one of the other HPD cars quit. I didn't see that. The car ahead's pitting now. Okay. Blue flag. So that's um. 
So the car in third, if I'm in fourth still, the car in third right is pitting. Right. Okay. I'll, or, you know, you, you can speculate amongst this all you like, but with a, with a, a race with three different classes of cars over an hour, a real nightmare to keep track of what's happening. So I'm just going to just keep going. And what happens, happens, basically. But this is good, at least the car's not wrecked, that would have been a real nightmare. Oh, it's a shame I'm not really going to have time to do another one of these. Because, you know, just, as I've mentioned on the other endurance video, endurance race videos, I just love the endurance racing, it's fantastic. Little, little short sprints, 13 laps here and there, they're okay. If you, you know, you want to fit in some quick races, but... To, to really have competition, you need to do it for a serious amount of time, so that it really does affect your concentration over a long period. Nice one, Matt. You're looking really good. And this Come is going to be a good practice for the weekend. Uh, this weekend coming up, I've got uh, a three-hour race at Imola with my team of three drivers: me, Christine, and Dean and uh, Adrian Hendy. So. Uh, Hopefully we can put a good showing in at Imola. Blue flag. Important thing. And this is, I didn't say it on the, um, I was going to transmit on the formation lap. But the thing is, what causes you some problems is the slow cars, so the GT3s, they second guess what you would like them to do and I did this when I was a GT3 uh, racer and right um, when you've got these cars who are much right. faster it doesn't really matter where you put yourself on the track they'll just get around you so the important thing is when you're in the slower class is to really just drive the line you want to drive don't worry about the other cars it's nice if you do pull over but don't worry about the other cars they will get around you In general, try and keep to the inside line. Okay, not too bad. Let's accelerate out. Definitely should have taken tyres. Just done a 146.24. Sector 1 is 1.7. Off the pace. Sector 2 is 2.1. Off the pace. Sector 3 is 1.8 seconds. Yeah, Off the pace. That's kind of fun. That is, um, that's one of mine, isn't it? Oh, it's, um, yeah, Matty. Matty's uh, a lap up, so not really racing Matty, but it'd be nice to just get closer to him. Locky lock, lock, lock. Oh, I'll knock it down at first. Recover that corner. It was pretty rubbish. Blue flag. Where is he? Okay. Let's get around here. And then, is he going to nip up? He just stay to the right. He can come past on the left. Where we go. These LMPs are really, really good. And I've got one. I could use it, but... It's just the view in the cockpit is a bit iffy. I'm not sure if they if they really use the hybrid system properly where you, you charge up your battery and the braking and then you can give yourself a boost using the curves button as you come out of corners. Another one? A little bit far around at the moment. You can do me in the straight. There we go, just straighten up a bit, stay to the right, let him round. Sector 2 is 2.5 off the This face. is alright, this is alright, I'm relatively happy so far. We're over about a third of the race distance. 
I had to pit once and that's almost par for the course. Behind me I've got pinky cars, so they're GT3s, they're not going to be coming up on me. That's not a problem. I've got Ron Wild in front of GT3, so we're going to have to get round him. There's a nice chicane. Through the Lesmos then. Uh, you know, even psychologically it makes you feel just so good to start overtaking cars and lapping cars, even though they are massively underpowered next to walls. It just gives you a little bit of a fuzzy feeling. Yeah, good track this. I did uh, a vintage F1 race on the vintage Monza which basically has all the chicanes taken out, but it's, it's kind of in the same shape. And that was that was good, I enjoyed that. Especially the uh, accurate, or thereabouts, representation of the outside of the track. It's amazing that you sort of take these, the tracks for granted, because, you know, as we all you know, I didn't watch Formula 1 in the 60s, but um, when you see how the tracks used to be, that was it's phenomenal. How they were just death traps, absolutely death traps. A bit of a lock. Yep. Slower car ahead. We're racing this guy for position. Don't yeah, expect we're not flag. racing for position because he is in a slower class of car. So again, more GT3 sounding off. It's a cracking little car. And like the Radical, it looks like it's set up for left or right hand drive. Benjamin. Through the Lesmos, let's catch up with Ronald. If you take away the first couple of laps and then that hit from uh, Wayne, Wayne Brewery, was his name I think it was, if we take those away, I'm enjoying this, it's really, really, really good. Through we go, come on in, power down. Keep it going. to third, catch the curve, accelerate on. Superb. P3, that last lap was at 1.45.39. Sectors 1 and 2 are 1.7 seconds no big off deal. the pace. Sector 3 no is 1.3 off the one pace. One Blue flag. Blue flag again, how far is he going? He's right on the Jackson. He's coming it's round. Car approaching. Car Off he goes. Clear left. Now we've got one. This guy's racing us for position. Ah, we don't get a blue about it. Shouldn't be a problem. We'll catch him. We've caught him now. We'll do him in the next few corners. If we can get close to him before we turn the second Lesmo. Well, unless he makes a hash of the second Lesmo. All right, he's gone into the grip. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm a bit, really, I'm a bit too far. Maybe I can catch him after Ascari. Let's draft him. Get a bit closer. He's off. Once we get through Ascari, we'll take him down before Parabolica. Again, I'm a bit too far, but he's really done that. Now we go. Easy now. Yeah. Very straightforward, getting a bit of a draft, come round. Car attractive right. car. Hold your line, clear right. He's going to tuck in behind, good lad. A bit too much slidey for my liking, but that's that one done. In 
the top ten. Well, I never. 145.96. Sector 2 is 2.3. Off the pace. Over the orange bit. Let's go, go, go. We must be coming up to half race distance soon. No idea what my fuel calculation is. I'll just wait until I've got a few laps left and then stuff a bit in there really. Get to the end, hopefully. That's halfway. Should be about 25 minutes of fuel remaining. 25 minutes of fuel, that's about 13 laps, give or take. Well actually no it isn't, it's not two minutes of that. Sixteen laps. Sixteen, seventeen, something like that. What have I got there? Fourteen. Oh, that's great, isn't it? So I'm going to have to come in again. But if I just drop the fuel down, I'll have a, another little look when we get closer to the time. But I don't need to shove in really a full tank. That's complete overkill. Really, I think. It's so annoying, you try to drive and look at your fuel gauge and move the mouse and move the wheel and everything. Because what, this will throw me out having to stop early. Still. We'll crack on. We are going to crack on. First, don't completely mess this corner up because the other driver he's done right, lovely right. nicely through Got another one on my scale on my display yeah Blue flag. once we get down to here he should easily be able to come past me come on in buddy through your gum left side clear left Scarry back out into another flat section. I mean, this is great, it's four flat out sections interspersed with a couple of little chicanes. That might be okay fuel wise, but we won't come in yet. We've got 13 laps, and the leader's on a one stop and he's going in now. Okay, not a problem. So we'll stay out a little bit longer. Unless anything forces me to come in early, we'll stay out to pretty much as late as we can. You've just done a 146. So still, two, still one five or so seconds, seconds off what I was getting two in testing. Five seconds off the pace. Sector three is 1.8 oh, seconds seem to have off up the pace. Is, oh no, that's um, Mate, isn't it? Oh no, it's Matteo. Okay. So I'm racing Matteo, and he's only two seconds ahead. Right. Okay. So we actually have a race on now. Okay, it's taken nearly 20 laps, but I'm back to where I was on lap 2 before I got hit by that Ford GT. Or was that lap 3 or 4? I can't remember. But anyway, it's taken us all this while, but with a pit stop each. And now he's going to be heavier as well. Let's see, uh, let's see how this plays out in the next few laps, but I can definitely catch up to him. Yeah. We go another one round. Right, clear right. It's good. The leader's pitting now. All the cars for their one stops are coming in now. Matthew's not, so he's obviously been in. That's why we've now shortened the distance. He's running a heavier car, although my tyres are off. 
You've used half right. your fuel. Half a tank's not really going to get me to the end. These things are really thirsty cars. Doing all right. P3, okay, so one of us has definitely dropped out. Uh, hopefully he might slow us all down. If we, before we get to the Lesmos, if we get to the shake came before the Lesmos and Matthew can't get round him, that's really going to Simone. Simone, Simone. Hopefully that's going to help me out. The gap in front is now and he hasn't seconds. got round him. So is he going to slow me up? He's going to slow us. going to slow... Oh, good. So I can now come right into the back of Matthew. So he's got to get round him in the next couple of corners. But he's cursing at the moment, probably in French, I imagine. But it's not the onus isn't on the guy to move over, it's just to drive safely. Come on then, he's gonna go round him. I'm faster than both of them at the moment. The acceleration is much better. I can't go three wide though. Okay, he's done a brilliant thing there. Wow, Simone's done a brilliant thing. He's just backed off because he knows that we're racing the position. Right then. Look at this. I'm much quicker. He's definitely got a much heavier car. Am I going to be able to get round him for Parabolica? Let's just nudge it out. Far away. Still there. Oh, I've locked him in a lock. So that's going to ruin my line. What's he doing? No, nope. I'm round him, I'm round him. But he's going to take me again on this straight because he'll just tuck in and draft. He's in the mirrors, he's now behind, so I bet he's going to draft and come past me. Well, I should have stayed Far left one. there and made him have the inside line anyway. Still there. Clear to the left. Oh, out right. Oh, side. missile clear again. On the left. Clear, clear to the right. Okay, there we go. Right side, so I've got to do it all right. over again. Oh man. A little bit too much on the brakes turns me into a missile. That's okay. And we've got a, oh. Well that, Simone's helped me out and has held up a LMP1, but never mind, it's okay. Blue flag. This guy's gonna get around me very quickly. A tiger. Oh, it's Mate, he's flashing his lights, but hey, I know you're there. But we're driving the same car, so get around me, buddy. Here we go. Like I go right, you go left. On your left. Come on. You get round. Keep now hold up um, Matthew in front. So with the, the three cars, he's a lap ahead of Oh Christ. He's a lap ahead of us. Gap in front is increasing. It's, it's alright, because I'm quicker out of this corner. Mate's going to sound this. Go on the right, off you go. Car right, clear right. Oh, this, is, this is really quite exciting. With the multi-class and being in a car which isn't the slowest on the track, um, this is really exciting. Right, no more... GT3s and these uh, Le Mans multi-class, I think. These HPDs are where it's at. Much more exciting. P3, that last lap was at 150, 26, 7. Back up with him very shortly. Off the pace. Let's just get through this corner properly. Come out okay. Well, oh, bit of a wiggle from the rear. Got to be able to take him. Got to be able to take him. I'm light, I'm faster. If I can take him, I've got to put distance between us so that I can at least buy myself a bit of time with the very Whoa, 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 he's... Oh, God. Watching... Oh, yield again! How frustrating. He misbreaks the corner. I'm watching him. I misbreak the corner. We're still there, though. He's definitely a bit nervous. He hasn't been in a race up to now. Let's see what happens. Come 
Come on, chase him down, chase him down. We're okay behind. We're okay behind. He is very, he's, he's a lot slower than me in the first, at least first half of the track up to the Lesmos. Okay. Now. We'll get that back. We'll get that back. No problem at all. You've that just done a 27.38. Sector one is 4.5 off the pace. Sector two is 2.6 off the pace. Sector three times through okay. Here. And straight away we're back in the game. Come on. Oh, squiggle, squiggle. I don't want to squiggle, squiggle. Again, my, my tyres are completely knackered now. Got to get close enough to force him to do something. Or if we can have another slower driver in front, who we got coming up? No. Uh, maybe Andreas. A couple of cars up, 12 seconds away. Maybe he could do me a favour. That was quick. Yeah, he's not quick through the Lesmos, so my car is definitely gaining on him here. He's trying not to let the draft, look, he's going left and right, doesn't want me to catch a draft. He's definitely concerned about the rate I'm catching him on the straights and I'm quicker out of here. So again, I'm going to be right up his backside shortly. Oh, this is brilliant. Good racing, fast cars, lovely track, this is what it's all about. Just ease off a bit, see what he does here. He's braking, I'll come on the inside and see if I can take him. I can certainly accelerate quicker out, my car's lighter. Car he's going to stay there. If, he's not gonna, if I'm not going to get past there. him out, he's staying. I'm going to have to just yield Still a bit. Oh, he's moving out to me. Still there. Clear left. Let's get nice and close. Accelerate now, no, 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 I'm going to have him because he's slow off the mark, he's heavier. There we go, I should have him on this corner, in fact. Let's get out there. Oh, completely out dragging him. Come on, next corner. Next. Oh, easy, matey. Not clear, though, is it? No. Oh. Maybe next lap, unless we come across anybody. Come on. Let's get through the Lesmos, I reckon, if we're still... Fairly close on the next lap, I can definitely have him in the first half. The ahead is now 0.6. This is exciting. We've actually got a race on our hands. It's taken us four. I don't know. Was it say 24 laps down there? So it's taken us about 35, 40 minutes, but we've, we've actually got a race on our hands. And again, that's what's so good about multi-class. We've got races within races. Come on, I'm faster through here. Let's get up there. And there's the GT3. He's mouthing off again, and he doesn't want me to draft. Again, I'm just going to let him... Just going to let him have the, the corner for this one. Let's see if he makes a mistake here. We'll keep the speed on. Don't want to spin. That's good. going to have the, the next corner but after that if I can get in if I can get in fairly quick behind him then I'm going to take him and get to him before he gets to the Lesmos so let's get into the corner quicker than he is that's good let's accelerate out because he's hit the curb let's go 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 let's go 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 yeah oh easy oh definitely out drag him oh fantastic still there there we go no, I've right. got this corner. I've Still got it. There. Come on. Still there. There we go. Right. Right I'm side. through. Clear to the right. Let's. Oh, God, back end's gone. Let's not cock this up. Concentrate. God, this is exciting. Don't forget my heart rate's top right corner. It'll tell you exactly how excited I am at the moment. 
is good, this is good, this is good, let's go. No, don't worry. Don't let this guy distract you. He's thinking about coming up the inside, but... Is he going to back off? On your left. Oh, he's not, you know. No, he's still steady. there. Have to go. Oh, touch, side by side, touch. Clear left. Still got On it. Clear to the left. And, oh no, the back's gone. Ow! Oh, flipping swear word. Spin it out. Come on. Watch those track yeah, limits. Right. Blue flag. Oh, man. That was so frustrating. My tyres are done for me. Right, I'm going to have to get back in the pits. I'm going to have to get back in the pits. That way I can top up fuel, change the tyres, and... Um, oh, that was so frustrating. I was ahead. I could have started pulling away. Well, obviously I needed to get more fuel on anyway. He's probably going to make it all the way through to the end, but... Let's just stay out a bit longer and see what happens. Oh, that was so straight. I'd had him, I had him, but my, my rear end, as I was coming out of Ascari, it just, oh, right. it just broke Clear away. Right. Oh, yeah, increased. don't worry about it. Ten seconds. But we had a little touch there, side by side, nothing wrong with that. Too wide through Ascari, you're probably going to expect that. His momentum's taking him out to the left, while I'm just turning it... Uh, his momentum's taken to the right while I'm turning into the left, so, Blue flag. you know, these little things happen, but that's okay. Oh, hello. Oh, come on, mate. Get your brake in. Oh, God. Five laps of fuel. We've got more than five laps to go in the race. Oh. Shall I come in now? If I come in now... Flag. You've got 10 minutes of yeah, fuel remaining. Really so, the the 15. so if I come in and put in exactly what I've got at the moment in my tank, that should, theoretically, see me to the end. And hopefully my maths won't let me down. Someone's had a bit of a dusty excursion. Steve's off slightly, let him pass, there we go. Left side, clear left. Oh, I'm loving this, this is brilliant, absolutely br Yeah, I think we'll pit now. Here we come, anchor's on, get it down, limiter, off we go. Let's get the fuel a little bit lower, a little bit lower. We've got, okay. We'll change. Leave the tyres. I need the tyres. Probably got a little bit of damage as well. Let's have a look. Okay, okay. Okay, let's just see what happens. Optional repairs. Yep, a little bit of optional repairs. But to be honest, that's not really... That's a minute. I don't I want to wait a minute for... I don't think I really want to wait a minute. Oh, okay. Some Another GT3 car is chirping in there. So I'm free to go. Do I really need... Ugh. I don't really need these optional repairs, do I, to be honest? No, let's fire it up, stuff it. Let's go. Back in the game, back in the game, come on! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Limits are off. That's okay, no worries. Car approaching, watch your mirrors. Down he goes, good. Any more for any more? Not for this corner. Oh, the tyres. What a difference. Oh, what I should have done that the first time. Good grief. If I'd done that the first time, I'd have probably closed him down quicker. Even though I needed a second stop, I wouldn't have spun off in that corner. So, uh, poor uh, tyres. Anyway, can't moan about these things. It's all in the past. Let's just get on with it. Let's get on with it. Oh, it's much better. The handling of the car is so much better with these tyres. Yeah. I think it was definitely that gravel excursion which killed the tyres on the first stint. Don't go in gravel, kids. We can get any lessons from today. 
apart from look out for Wayne Drury. Just don't go in the gravel. So what have we got ahead? We have a little pinky car ahead, so we should be able to get past him. I've got Christoph coming up from behind. He'll come through at some point. He's closing the gap. Marcus in front. P2? Seriously? That can't be right. I know Crew Chief has a habit of getting the positions wrong, but really? So where's my food gone? So I've got Mate in front, Goulash in front. Blue flag. There's a whole little choo-choo train of us coming through the Lesmos. Here we go. Is he going to come past? Yep. Right okay, that's good. He's through. Right. Is he going to cope with the next one? He's going to go. Oh, there he goes. In, out, in. Force the boat to break, but that helps me out. So I've got Marcus in front. Where am I going to get Marcus? Before the thing, I'll have to come up the inside and stay in over. Yeah. Right side. That's okay. Hold your line. Clear, clear to the right. That's good. That was a fairly easy pass. Marcus made that easy for me. Thank you, Marcus. He's also going to be a little bit of a blocker for anybody coming up quickly from behind. We've got one in our, on our horizon. There's Matthew. He's on the standings and he's still there so where is he? So why is it saying I'm second if it's still showing him standings as second? I don't know. We're back in the top 10. Don't forget I qualified 12th so that's good. I haven't noticed any messages in my top bar telling me about Matthew retiring. Keep the line, he's not that close. Alright. Blue flag. I think we'll be gone. We can take now. Go. Lovely. Left side, clear left. Okay. Ten minutes, uh, if you're remaining. ten minutes. How many laps? That's about six laps. So get through here. I might have to have a look and see if I've got enough. Hopefully, I did put enough on. I don't have to do another one. Five laps. Well, how many laps have we got left? How many laps have we got left? Oh, I don't sound going to have to do another quick dribble again. Blue flag. Is he going to come past him? Right. No, he's letting me take the chicane. We go. Left side, clear to the left. Yeah. Blue flag. He's not really going to bother me ahead of this set of corners. There he goes. Right side, what, clear one? right. Oh, I've got another one. Go oh, chief. Sort yourself out, mate. Go 
into a scar. Through we go. This has been a fantastic race. I, I, so, it's had everything. Uh, frustration, mistakes, collisions, a few uh, pit stop strategies that have had to change, a nice bit of close racing a short while ago with Matthew, and, you know, this has been alright. Again, I'm going to finish higher than I started, so mission achieved on that front. This is good, this is good. That was at 144.66 that's okay, that's okay, to 1S, okay. 1.6 of the pace. It looks like I might be right. Again, just doing the sums in the head, it looks like I might be right. Oh, a little bit off track there. No big deal. Oh, stuff it. No, Matt. Come on, track limits. You don't need to tell me about track limits, matey. I'm well ahead of you. Oh, there we go. Nice, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I've been waiting all week to do this race and um, it really has lived up to expectations. Hell of a lot of fun. I was a bit worried about how this car might handle because not many people race it. I said this right at the beginning. Not many people choose to race this. They, they prefer the rock and roll LMP1s or the, the, the herd of the GT3s. And you think, why, why wouldn't you race this if it's a handleable car? Why wouldn't you race it? Because you don't get caught up in all that GT3 nonsense at the beginning. So I've no idea what more people don't race these cars. They're fantastic. And this is the only series you can race. Perhaps that's it. Because this is... Oh, nice. This is the only Scott series you can race in with these cars. So perhaps that's why people just don't do it. They just don't get the chance to get the feel for it. But I did about 45 minutes of practice earlier in it. And... Um, from the very first couple of laps, I thought, no, this is superb. Very manageable car, very quick. What's, what's helped me out again here is that I'm outside. The LMP1s are in a very... Five minutes, that's three laps. How many more have got? Five minutes, a few remaining, um, five minutes. The... The LMP cars are in a, you're in a cabin, a cockpit, it's very claustrophobic, the visibility is not great. Um, the GT3 cars, you're, you're inside the car, the visibility is better, but still not great. And don't reverse into me, thank you, it was a Ferrari. Um, these cars are out in the open, so there's nothing in front which is hindering your view. And they're great, fantastic, look at them, brilliant. The way you can see through the, the wheel vents at the front, just superb. I think as soon as the next season starts, I'm definitely going to... Yeah, okay. Um, the next season, once we get that underway, I'm definitely going to try and race as much as I can in these in, in the Le Mans series, because they're just brilliant. They really are. Yeah, but how many laps we got left? I'm waiting for a white flag to pop up in the corner. Look at the fuel. Uh, Sector one, one more to go. Have I got enough? I go. think I've got Keep enough. Two points. We'll yeah. Oh, blinking flipsy. Come on, go, go, go. Go. Gonna get 
getting around him now. Hopefully, yep. Yeah. On your what? Still there. Clear to the left. Two close parts. So, am I going to get... Is it, is it drunk enough? Am I going to get round on the next lap? I should be able to make one, one lap out of this. By two laps... What, what does that mean? One gallon? You've got one gallon left. Because it's, it's put on in weight. Oh, it's, it's just oh, confusing. Right, staying out. White flag. Let's do it. Yep. 1.2 laps to, of fuel left. One lap to go. Yep, two minutes of fuel. That's more than enough. That means I can just do one more lap. Off we go. Okay, so I'm sandwiched. Not long left. Last lap. A whole hour of racing. Flown by as usual. There we go. Okay, still not that close. But don't worry, we're going to make it. Right, let's get around the next corner, then he can overtake both of us. There we go. It's okay, so we are. I'm going to go. No, he's going right. He's going. Ah, oh, oh, dang! He's hit me in the back. I went right, he went right in front, so I was going right, the car behind was going right, so I stayed left, he's then decided, oh no, the car in front of the car in front's going right, I need to stay left, so he stayed left and he's ran me up the body, I've sent him a sorry, but he should have just kept his line, we were moving over, should have just kept his line, anyway, it matters not, he's not racing anyone, I'm not racing anyone, I think Peter is finished. P2 P2 chief, to be here, honest. The first chicane. So here we go. We're going to dribble across the line. Started 12th. Oh, where's the finish line? There it is. Well, yeah, I'm going to be. Well done, Matt. Great drive. At That's least third podium. anyway, because one of our guys dropped out. So let's have a look and see what the final results are. I can't actually have been second, even though it said I was second. Blimey, second. Anyway, thanks for watching.